Aloha, my name is Wendy Roberts, and I want to tell you a little bit about my painting, The Lost Forest of Oahu. This painting began as a question. How many Hawaiian birds have become extinct, and what would it look like if I could see them all in the same place? I was inspired by the illustration works of John Gerard Coulemans, Frederick William Frohawk, and other vintage illustrators as well as taxidermy and many other bird specimens from museums, such as the Bishop Museum and other world museums. The birds were very accurate, but they were also stylized in a way that made them not quite realistic. There was room for my style to bring something new into the project. I switched into researcher mode and started looking into the extinction list and searching up illustrations and bird specimens from the archives of museums. I quickly realized that I could not possibly fit all extinct Hawaiian birds into anything less than a massive mural. There were so many types of extinct birds. I wanted to make a painting of reasonable size, so I started setting selection criteria to limit the image to a reasonable number of species. I think it's safe to say that this is a selection of birds that would have been in Oahu, in the forests, the most endemic just to Oahu Island, but they are not there anymore. The Oahu Akepa, Oahu O'o, A Maui, Oahu Nukupu'u, Oahu Akialoa, Oahu Lesser Koa Finches. Ohia trees have red, orange, or yellow blossoms depending on variety. However, there are legends of people finding a rare white ohia. This is Hawaii's version of a botanical Bigfoot. No one can prove it was there, but the stories remain to tantalize us. Thus, if they existed, the sacred blossoms are lost to the mists of time, like the birds which may have once perched on their ghostly branches. Thank you for watching.